it looks ready for work. A 1952 Chevrolet 3100 Canopy Express truck owned by Roger Sally of Bristol, Connecticut. Very, very few of them exist. Uh, I've never seen another one. Sally got the Chevy more than 10 years ago for only $3,500. The friend who possessed it was holding it as collateral. It was parked around the corner about a, about a half a mile from here. And it turned out to be somebody I know that owned it. It was a matter of timing and another person's misfortune. He lent some money to a guy that owned a bar in Plainville. And uh, when the year went by, the, the, my friend says, hey, I need the money back, you know. So the guy said, sell the truck. I happened to be going by as he was putting the for sale sign in it. And that's it. I drove it home. <laughs> The Canopy Express was in rough shape when acquired, and Sally has been restoring it ever since. Every nut and bolt, except for four of them, I replaced. Really? Every nut, bolt, screw, washer, everything. There's an S10 chassis, a uh, small V8, automatic transmission, uh, tilt steering column, the dashboard's been changed, all new gauges, stereo system, everything that, you know, you would want in a modern vehicle. Sally estimates that only 250 of the Canopy Express model were built during the 1952 model year. They were primarily used to peddle goods. A farmer would, would peddle his wares to the neighborhoods, to the housewives that didn't have their license. Maybe the family only had one car in, in, in the family. Had to get his, his uh, wares out to the people. I've heard fish man, I've heard the rag man, I've heard the, the fruit and vegetable man, I've heard uh, ice man had trucks like this. And they all had to make money somehow. Sally gets comments every time he drives it. If I don't hear, did you cut the sides open on a panel truck at least once every time I go somewhere, then my day's ruined. <laughs> Sally drives the Canopy Express for fun. It's often seen at car shows, and he's constantly working on it. Uh, like they say, you're never done with an old car. You always have something to do. What is for certain is that his 1952 Chevy is a rarity. Most of them went to farmers, and when a farmer got done with something, it went behind the barn, and it went back to the earth. That's Ride Connecticut. I'm Bud Wilkinson, and please subscribe to Ride Connecticut's YouTube channel.